In this video, we're going to look at the Zener diode. This is my voltages uh, based video series, but I'm going to try to make it quick. There isn't a whole lot to this, but it's important that you understand this component uh, really well. So I'll also add it to my quick video uh, series of videos. So in any case, we have a Zener diode here. So the Zener diode, unlike the rectifier diode, you actually want to get it to conduct while well, it's reverse bias. That's because while well, it's reverse bias, each one has a Zener voltage. So they differ, the one that I picked on it, I just looked at it with the magnifying glass, it says 5V1 for 5.1 volts. So we're going to have about 5.1 volts across the Zener diode when it's reverse bias and we have a higher voltage at the power supply. So we need current to go through this resistor and uh, we'll pick this resistor. It'll be the voltage of the power supply minus the Zener voltage will be across this resistor. So we need current to go through the Zener diode and through the load. So a relatively high value, uh, I mean low value resistor here. So a lot of current can flow through and uh, it'd be best to get a load that doesn't need much current to make things easier. But in any case, we'll have that uh, Zener voltage. So we uh, use a reverse bias. A rectifier diode can also conduct if the voltage gets high enough while well, it's reverse bias, but that will probably damage it, probably destroy it. So you only want to use a Zener voltage of the Zener voltage rating that you are looking for. And so over here, you can see that I have a rectifier diode to the positive supply and a Zener diode. So all my Zener diodes are in the glass package right there. It's clear, but it's orange on the inside. Sometimes they're red. It says 5V1 on there, but it's really small. And uh, so we have the cathode right there, the anode up here. If we put it in forward bias, where the anodes there, cathodes there, it'll start conducting about 0.7 volts, like uh, any other diode. But since this is a 5.1 Zener diode, well, it's reverse bias. It'll start conducting about 5.1 volts which means that we'll have a buildup of uh, 5.1 volts approximately across the load as long as the supply voltage is high enough for our current demands. And so, as I just said, as long as the supply voltage is high enough, we're going to start at 7 volts right there. A couple volts above 5, I think that will work out pretty nicely. And so now we have the oscilloscope there. I have the uh, alligator clips clipped to jumpers. This one's going to the uh, negative rail. That is our ground, basically. I'm going to put this one to the positive rail. And actually, with this power supply, the voltage did dip down a little bit. It actually goes slightly negative. But, uh, well, the power, power supply output is off. But uh, there we go. I turn the power supply outlet on. And you can see that we are up seven squares right there. There's eight total. And... That's the uh, power supply rail. Now we will go to the Zener diode. So as I said before, it should be about 5.1. And uh, I think it's actually just slightly lower because we don't have a lot of current. You can see that it is below the line a, a, a tiny bit right there. And uh, I bumped the power supply. That's why it went off. So. Power supply is being a little finicky right now, unfortunately. So what we're going to do is increase the uh, voltage. So you should be able to see that uh, pretty well. And we should still hold about 5 volts across it. So I think I can easily go to 10 volts with uh, what we got there. I think we're asking quite a bit once we get to uh, 10 volts. So in any case, there you can see now we're above the 5. Looks like we're probably 5.1 right there and uh, maybe just a tad bit higher but uh, there you can see that's the voltage across the LED so even though we went up 3 volts it really made uh, practically no difference the voltage across the load right there we do have a lot more current going through the Zener diode to hold the voltage at that point so you can see we got about 0.022 amps which is the same as 22 milliamps now you can see we go down to 9 volts the currents dropping quickly but since the voltage is holding uh, relatively stable there across the load the current through the load will be relatively stable that uh, current change that we saw is uh, 
practically all the current going through the Zener diode. So, in any case, that's about it to this circuit and with how the Zener diode works. It works reverse bias like that to set a voltage somewhere. So it's a tiny bit uh, dependent on the uh, current flow, but for the most part, you get a pretty reliable voltage as long as you're at least probably a couple volts above that at the uh, power supply. So hopefully you found it interesting. Check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. That would help out a ton. I got a uh, Patreon link down in the description. Check that out if you can. That would help out a ton too. I'll see you in the next video.